I might kill Dr. Carol. That's my fear right now that I'll kill Dr. Carol. All right, everybody. So we're now playing Perfect Dark. So this game is basically an unofficial sequel to Golden Eye. It has a lot of the same aspect, but just a completely different game. So I saw what we had to do. We had to gain access to the laboratory. This is the first mission we have in uh, Perfect Dark. Let's get into it. Right off the bat, I think the graphics in the last game were better than this game, which makes no sense because this game came after that and made by the same developers. So I'm not really sure what to think, and this cutscene is so random, I cannot hear anything. They're just screaming into the mic. I heard him say good luck, so that's the I heard two words out of that entire cutscene. The like the whole moving around system is just terrible in this game. Just for the fact it's not really this game's fault. If more it's more of just like the controller's fault. Oh, there's blood in this game, alright. Cool, I guess. I could sort of see why this game is called like Perfect Dark. You could literally see nothing in this game. I'm not sure why the like the gamma is so down. What is going on? Why is that guy like I'm looking at the desk? Oh, I think we might need that. What is that? What are you? Yo, like you can move the desk. All right, can I pick you up? What I realized is there's actually like physics in this game, so you could like move this desk around. I'm not really sure how that helps ever, but. I mean, it's a cool addition, right? All right. We just went down a whole one layer with an elevator. Oh my God. And they're immediately lighting a fire. How do you even know I'm an enemy? All right, so the aim assist is still up. What is going on? How is this FPS so bad? What is that guy doing? He's not even shooting. He's shooting at a wall. Oh, you're not even enemies. That's why. Oh, you are now, I guess. They're screaming, okay. Yo, they're, he's punching me. Chill. All right, let's open up. Let's see where everybody else is. Uh, what's up, man? Do you got a gun? Are you a nice person? Whoa, you have a gun now? What? Where are these people getting guns from? Why are they falling so dramatically? Oh my god. Okay, this gun is OP. This is like an extremely overpowered Uzi. So what I'm sort of like understanding when I'm playing these games of how it, it's, it's extremely important to have like a whole mini map system like on the top left or top right in these games because I am just so lost. These maps make no sense. I don't know where I'm going. I have to enter a laboratory, but I'm in a hotel right now or something. I'm not really sure. There we go. Oh my God. Jeez, this elevator is bringing me really fast. Where am I going? Have I arrived at the laboratory? Oh my god, okay, this was, something cool must be happening. You guys hear the music? What are you doing? Okay, apparently, okay, this is, some, this is something special because all these people have robot outfits on now. And we have a cool health bar at the top. Oh my god. Get out of here. You don't even know what's up. Oh, I won. Playing this game is very weird. I mean, ranking it considering like the games that we play now, if it had like perfect, I feel like a game like this would honestly be fun if it had like nice graphics and like a, not a controller that I have to hold like this, you know? Our next mission is Data Dine Ex Investigation. So we have to holograph radioactive isotope and locate Dr. Carroll. So the first objective seems a little bit complicated. The second one, pretty easy though. Locating to isolate Data Dine. Not sure what that means. I think if I go through this, I'm, it's either gonna wanna, it's gonna do one of two things. I'm gonna die, or it's gonna set off the alarm, or a mini robot is gonna go through and turn it off for me. Sounds good, thank you mini robot friend. Where did you just come from? No idea. I can barely see anything in this map now. So I think we completed our first mission by data dining the investigation, whatever I had to do. So now we gotta find Dr. Carroll, he's gotta be close. At least that's what the captions just said. Oh, I just failed the mission. Can I not go through now? No! I just broke the thing that unlocks this door. I don't know why. I thought maybe destroying it would work. I guess not though. No, I think I, I think I lost now. I failed the mission. And that was the door that, that, that was the computer that opens this door. I think I lost. I don't know what else I could do. So the game starts off fast with this futuristic helicopter flying on top of this hotel building and we have to find a laboratory. N64 games didn't have mini maps like on the top left or top right of your screen so it was super difficult to know where you're going. 
So yet again, I'm running around aimlessly and I finally find this computer and I have no idea how to make it work. So I take out my gun and I shoot it. I never found Dr. Carol and I gave up. So honestly, I think Perfect Dark was a downgrade from GoldenEye, especially the graphics and the light in the game. It made even less sense than GoldenEye, which I didn't even think was possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe to Whistle and follow me over at my social medias in the description. Let me know in the comments what other retro games you want to see me play.